Greetings and welcome back everyone. Today's episode is going to be episode 34 and we're going to be exploring the Betweenlands because we need to find some way to get our decay back up because we already have slowness too. And that is not good. So we're going to be exploring the Betweenlands looking for items that can help us out because I would like us not to be able to die or have terrible side effects in here. Also another thing that I wanted to tell you is I can't gather those nettles until I get those other special set of shears. So this thing, oh whoa, that's crazy. I did not realize a snail would attack me, but I guess it gives meat so I can't really complain. And it gave a poison gland. Well hang on to those, they're not really sure what they're used for just yet, but I really want to adventure out and see what we can find here in this between lands. I mean, our place is, is right here, so it's not um, terribly inconspicuous, but it's definitely, we're going to have to remember where it's at when we search for stuff. So we need to just go find some trees, go find some different plants, and see what we can get here. Oh, I see a fire over there. That's probably a good sign, right? Oh, it's just a firefly. Whew. thought it was... Something dangerous. So what is that there? Algae. Oh, it's in water. Weird. So, reading a short guide, which gave me the information about the nettles, right? Um, I should not stay here in the wildlands. I should find another area with other types of trees. Now, what the heck was that? And we have a... Another type of tree here. What type of tree is that? It's a rubber tree. What the heck is that? Something's attacking that. It's a leech. Are you serious? Let's see how much damage we do to this hag here. Let's go get him. Can't quite reach him, but I don't want to go across there. If there's a leech in there, holy smokes. We do a good amount of damage with this sword, almost as much as our other one. So I'm not really complaining here. Okay, so we found something called a cure, which is a ball of sap. Okay, that's actually part of what we're searching for today. So we got that one. Oh, he he's a tough little bird here. Let's get him. He's just not moving fast enough for me to consistently hit him. There we go. Let's go see if he drops some bones. That's what we're kind of after is some more bones. Because the pickaxe, the better pickaxe is made out of those bones. What kind of tree is this over here? Oh man, our slowness is way down. This isn't good. We're super slow. Oh, there we go. We're out of mud now. A sap tree. This is what we need here. A sap tree. So let's try to chop it down from up there. Good. And let's chop it down from down here. Oh man, there's a lot. This is good. I think the sap will help with the decay, if I remember correctly. Let's chop the whole thing down. Hopefully we get some saplings out of this. Because then we can plant them close to our base. And I think I'm stuck in mud again. Yep, I sure am. There we go. Bam! Let's pick up all this sapling. Or all this sap. And hopefully we got a sapling in there. As well. Okay, so let's get out of the mud here. Being slow and in mud is like double, double slow here. So we got a ton of sap, but I don't see any saplings. It heals decay. What else can it do here? It can make sap jello. That sounds appealing. Okay, so how do we make the jello? We just cook. Oh, we just cook it. Neat. And then we make sap. So sludge will heal us. Now it'll heal decay, and that heals decay. Okay. So that's kind of what we want to get into. There's a white pear. That's neat. It heals a lot. Wow. Okay, so let's see. We didn't get any saplings out of that that I can see anyway. That's kind of a bummer. Let's hope we get a sapling or two out of that. What is that? What is that over there? 
Let's go down in there and see what that is. That's a lot of mud to tromp through, though. Let's see if we can eat this stuff first. Whoa! We're all better now. That was fast. And there was no negative effects. I like Zap. Okay, so let's see what this is. Sulfur or harvestable. Let's grab this stuff. I think we need it anyway. It's used to make torches in this dimension, if I remember correctly. I, l I saw the recipe. Definitely interesting. Oh, and there's quite a big patch here. Okay, so I just broke all but the very last piece, which will help us get out of here. But I think we can break that now. There we go. And we'll just use some of this swamp dirt to get us a step out of here. That worked out pretty well. Now, I don't really want to take that route getting out. So we're going to make our own little path here, because who needs to walk through the mud? Not this guy. So here we are. We found our way out. Right there. Okay, drop down a block, and we're good to go. So we have no saplings still, which is okay. I can live with that. So let's find another one of those trees. I see one over there. We are no longer dying, which is plus. But we gotta be careful of things here. There could be a multitude of things lurking here. And we're stuck in the mud again. <laughs> we just gotta trudge our way through it. For now, I'm, there's probably some sort of boots or something that help out with that, but I just don't have them yet. Two swamp reeds. I wonder if they're just like real reeds. I assume they are. So let's chop down this tree. It's another one of those sap log trees. Boom! I saw a sapling that time. I saw a sapling that time. So we're gonna get it. It's off to the left here. Okay, so let's pick up all these goodies here. Hopefully there isn't something lurking in the water. It's kind of murky. It's really hard to see. So let's see, can we find this sapling? Because we really need that sapling. There it is. We got it. We got two of those saplings. Very nice. Seems to be a nice bright day. Did we get all the balls? I think we got all of them. Yeah, we got quite a few. Oh, but well, we can still do these. And there's another sapling right there. Boom! Oh, we should stay out of the water. Stay out of the water. Because it's not fine. Okay, did we see another sapling? I think we see another sapling right underneath there. Or no, wait, it's a ball of sap. Bummer, but it's okay. We still need that too. Oh, mud. Mud, mud, mud. Try to avoid the mud. Okay, so we got some goodies here. Oh, and there's more sulfur, but our pick is gonna break. Pincher plant is definitely interesting. It looks unique. So let's see, which way is back to the base here? Which way is back to the... Wow, are we... No, okay, so it's that way. Okay, so we at least know somewhat where we're at. We're trying to stay a little bit close to our base while we still figure things out. I wanna grab some things. We got some stone, we got some sulfur. I'm sure there's some ores here we can grab. Oh, look at that little frog. Awesome. Let's see. Let's cross this water without too much difficulty. Eh, we still may land it in there. Now, let's grab one of these rubber trees while we're at it. We might as well. And there are some more what looks to be snails here. Let's grab them. Oh, man, he didn't die. But that one did. Okay. So we got the snails, and let's see, there's a rubber tree right there. Let's go grab that one. Can't really hurt if we grab that one. Let's see if we can chop it down here without too much difficulty. Okay, so it got it. There we go. They should give us something, I assume. Oh, and a sapling. Oh, come here, sapling. And another sapling. So we got... Let's see, six rubber tree saplings, we're good. 
And we got how many pieces of rubber? Well, we got a snail shell too. Let's see, rubber. Where is the rubber tree pieces? Oh, there they are. 26. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's continue back in this direction. Seems to be a lot of water here. Oh, get out of the water. It's never safe in the water. Oh, man. Jump over that. More water. Always more water. Oh, we made it. And there's the portal right there. We're back. Oh, more snails. More snails. We're going to take their meat. I'm sure it's good for something. Let's go get it. Oh, something. Ooh, ooh. The water's poisonous, or this poison ivy. It's one of the two. That was not good. But we're alive. That's all that matters here. So we're inside here. Let's see what we got. Let's eat a little bit. Our decay is doing good. We got two of those shells, which are nice. We got three of the bones. So let's see. What can we do? So we can grind it up, and that's about it for right now. And then we can compost it. That's all we can do. We got 40 pieces of sulfur already. Let's go. Let's go plant our trees outside. Since we got them here. This biome isn't so bad. Seems to be pretty safe for us for the most part. We have access to be able to mine down there. This is going to at least help us out definitely in the beginning. So let's plant a couple trees. So that we can have more of that sap to help with the decay. Because we definitely will need that in the end. I can, I can see that becoming a big part of keeping us alive here. Because that slowness really slows us down. So we're going to keep planting these rubber trees here. There we go. That should be enough of them. And far enough away without causing too much problem. Want them close, but not too close. You know how that is. Oh, our tree's all the way over there. I'm looking going to the wrong tree. Okay, so we're going to need to set up some level of defense for this. And there's a hole right there. Let's put a piece of swamp dirt right there. We need to eat something. We probably need to cook up some of this snail meat we have. Let's see. If we cook it, it does quite a bit and it gives protein, which is a plus. So let's cook it here in this furnace here. And then what else can we do with the sulfur? We can make those sulfur torches or we can make a block of sulfur. Or we can use it to burn. Or it does something to an item scroll. Or we can turn mossy crag rock top into crag rock. So, okay, so there's several things it can do, I guess. No big deal. And I, the water over here is different too. It says swamp water. Oh, we gotta pull that piece out. I did an experiment to see if it would cook it, and it sure did. So let's throw that away. I don't really need that. All this cooks here. I don't know if this one's necessarily more or less efficient than the one we're currently using. Or than the regular one, but I would sure hope so. And there we go. We got that. There we go. Now we're healing like a champ. We got this rotten food. Not really sure what it does. Now let's check out the rubber. So we can use the rubber to make these the normal things, but what else can it do? It makes rubber tree planks. It can be used to make sawdust. It can use to make charcoal, so nothing special in that regard. But what about these rubber tree planks? So it creates a regular, normal wooden pressure plate from Minecraft. Now that is interesting. And then of course it can be used to make tripwire signs and all the other normal stuff here, which is good. That is pretty doggone good. I guess I can make a regular wooden pressure plate. I thought it was off the maybe the age I was in before. That's I bet you what it was. But I don't really see a necessarily a use for the rubber tree just yet. But what we want to do is we want to cook up a stack of these and we're gonna start making this heels decay, the sap jello. And to do that, we're gonna need some charcoal or something. So I'm back. That didn't take long at all for us to be able to get the charcoal we needed. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set this down here and cook up all these balls. Oh. 
how do we cook them? It says we gotta cook them in a furnace. Maybe charcoal will not work in that furnace. That could very well be. Huh, charcoal will not work in this furnace either. Weird. It says it has a carbon value. So how do I cook them? Will this sulfur work? Huh. Maybe I just got lucky with the sawdust. Weird. That's interesting. So I can't directly cook them in there. Will they cook with sticks? No. I don't know what that slot over there is for. Can't put any of that stuff in there. Can't put that in there. I guess I just got lucky cooking up that stuff. Weird. I got to figure that out. Because I need to be able to cook stuff. I mean, for now we have... We can eat this fried leg if we really needed to. The fried frog leg. But we need to use, see what this poison gland is used for. It's used to make a poison angular tooth arrow. Which is interesting because an angular tooth arrow it looks to be a pretty advanced arrow dragonfly wings holy smokes okay so weed wood in there yep that's that's standard okay so let's drop off some stuff because we don't need to carry every piece of sap ball that we have here I guess I don't need to carry the charcoal since it won't burn here there's got to be some way to use for fuel inside of a furnace here so let's see If I go in here to you, and I blast furnace, millstone, fuel, it shows that it can be used as a fuel source in these types of furnaces. Maybe it's just here in the between lands. That could be. Maybe it's too damp or something. Not entirely sure. We can go make saw more sawdust though. We may end up doing that. It looks like I read that recipe wrong. Clearly, it's not balls of sap that mix with itself cooked. It's sludge jello, which comes from sludge balls. Yeah, so that's why it won't cook, because you can't cook those ones. Fun, fun, fun. I am good at that. So, let's basically take uh, a piece of sulfur so those can finish cooking up. And I'm assuming that a piece of charcoal will still cook them. No big deal there. We're going to take some balls of sap with us. We're going to leave our mushrooms here. Because they're not really doing anything for us. And we're going to take our fried frog legs and our snail meat. Well, we're going to leave this here just as a precautionary backup. We're going to plant our reeds here. Leave our bones. Well, we can make another pickaxe, I guess. That would be uh, advantageous of us for this. That'll give us a better pickaxe. It'll give us durability of 320, which will work significantly better. I mean, we also have this one, and it's pretty much broken. It's got two uses left. But we're going to take this bone one here. We'll set this one in here in case we, you know, absolutely need it. Because I don't want to take everything that we might need here. And I'm not really going to make any torches, but just in case, I'll take those with us. I definitely don't need those. I don't need that. We need to head back out there. Let's see here. Let's find a place to plant these reeds over here. We'll be over here next to the other reeds. There we go. We got our kick butt sword here. The bone sword. Oh, it's losing damage. Did you guys see that? It went from 465 to 464. Slightly corroded. How do you fix that? How do you fix that? That's weird. I did not know that they decay. That must, uh... Maybe it'll put it back to its normal one if I repair it or something. I don't know. I do not know. Let's continue on here. Oh, we're gonna go do some mining, I think. I wanna find out what's down below here. Let's see.
Where did that place go? I know there was a little... A little place to go down here. Oh. Now I walked right past it. Silly me, silly me. Oh wait, this isn't the normal one I usually enter. But it's going to be the one I enter this time. So we need to get down in there. No big deal. We found our way down through here last time. So let's take our sulfur. Let's go make a lot of torches. Oh well, we can live with that. We got plenty of both. So we can start using our torches here. Because I want to see what we can get to. Man, they don't work very well though, do they? Whew! This makes it look even eerier. Let's see. Can we harvest this moss, I wonder? And there's some more sulfur right there. That will work for our needs. Let's put that there. Put that one here. Can we harvest it with shears? Nope. Cannot. Can we harvest it with a pickaxe? Nope. There's gotta be some way to get moss. We'll eventually figure it out. So let's grab this sulfur. That was quick. There's another vein right here. Slimy bone ore? What? Drop torch. Slimy bone ore. We may have our bone armor in no time at this rate. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see, how many bones did we get? We got nine bones out of that. That's not too bad. That'll go with the three that we already had. That makes this adventure more interesting. Let's go down. We're going to need to dig a deeper path here to get down in there. Let's see, can we do it from this one? Will it be enough? Ooh, I hear something. I hear something. Thankfully, I don't see anything, though. Well, what is that? That's jagged. A stalactite. Interesting. That looks to be a long way down. Not really, but there's some goodies over here that we need to get anyway. We got some more sulfur here. There we go. We're getting a set of armor out of this. We can head out and search for those sludge balls. That'd be nice. Oh man, this just keeps going on and on. Let's grab this last one here. There we go. I guess we gotta keep going down here. Let's see. The more we go. Oh my goodness. That was not what I intended to do. So let's try a different route. Always another route to take. We are in the caverns. Okay, so we gotta move some torches back here. There we go. It's almost like a terraria as you enter in the different levels. And there is some of that, um, Cyro. Cy. Cyamorite? Cymorite. I'm going to call it Cymorite. I don't know exactly what it is, but that's what it's going to be for today. Oh, and there's at least four pieces here. That's good. We can get our set of shears now. So we get that nettle soup. Oh, there's more. There is more. This is good. Well, that was an extremely lucrative location. I ended up getting bones out of it and everything. Oh, and there's some more of this Cymorite right there. So I got the, the bone ore in there, and I got all that sulfur in there, and it just ended up working out really, really well. If you look at it, I got the 17 of that ore, I've got 34 sulfur, and I got 40 bones already. It's definitely turning into a great haul. Let's see what else we got in here. We got cave moss. I don't know what that does. Can we... Oh, looks like we can't shear it. Maybe we need those other shears to shear it. So we're going to leave that alone for the most part. We got stalagmites and stalactites. Oh, I guess they're all just called stalactites, I guess. 
let's see here. Oh, looks like we gotta break our way up here. No big deal. There we go. This should get us out of here. That was extremely lucrative. I wonder what more we can find by going down. What is this? Lichen. Hmm. It's growing here on the walls. We got some hanger. I don't know what that is. Hopefully we don't run into too, anything too bad down here. And hopefully we can find our way back. This looks to be a giant cavern. It wasn't kidding when it said cavern lair. I feel like I'm really spelunkering in here. Man. I'm gonna mine this stuff out. The ores seem to be densely populated in here. I find it very interesting that as I'm mining out one particular ore, I tend to find the other two. So I find the bone ore, I find the cyamorite, and I also find all this sulfur ore. So as I continue to mine this, it seems to be very prevalent here that those other two are just as lucrative. So that was an extremely lucrative haul. I just pulled myself out of the cavern down there. And I got almost three stacks of sulfur. I got over a half a stack of the Cimerite. And I've almost got a full stack of the slime molds. I had to make another pickaxe. But I think that's a pretty doggone good haul for us. Let's get back and get this stuff cooked up. And let's see where we can go from here. So we got our saplings planted. So hopefully they'll grow soon enough. Looks like maybe one of our rubber trees did, if that's one of ours, which is very nice. So let's go up in here. Our, I noticed our decay really isn't going down like it was before, and that's definitely a plus. Let's go in here to our furnace. We got our snail meat, which is good. We're going to throw this sulfur in here, and we're going to throw it with this cymeride and let it just cook it, cook it up. And then we have plenty of sulfur left over for more torches and whatnot. Let's... Throw some in a chest. There we go, just like that. So in case anything happens, we have backup. We have plenty of slimy bones now. Hopefully we can make the armor with this, which would be a, um, I don't know if it'd necessarily be an upgrade to what we have, but it will definitely be equal to what we have. Let's put the rubber in there. So we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna try to make a bucket as well, which will be something good to have. And those are, Always good to have more buckets, I guess, right? Throw that in there for now. What kind of tr Oh, this is the nib nibble wood. Or nibble twig. That's the nibble wood twig tree. Man, I gotta remember these names. I gotta be careful, that's poison ivy. We'll also be able to make the shears so we can make that soup. That'll be really good for us. And I think that's gonna be a good stopping point for the episode. We managed to uh, do a little bit of combat exploration. And we got a little bit of mining done down there in the, the cavern level. It's going to be interesting to see what lies even further below that. But again, that's going to be for another episode. So thank you guys again for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.